So you just got your soil test results back and perhaps your pH is too high or too low. Let's talk about options for fixing that. Hello YouTube. Welcome to Project Golf Course Lawn Season 5. So you just got your soil test results back and perhaps your pH levels are a little bit out of whack. If they were super high, you're, the results are going to say that your soil is too alkaline and if they are excessively low, your results will say something like your soil is too acidic. So why is that important? Why is pH important at all? Why should we care about it? Well, most plants, and grass is, is no different, have a certain area, a certain uh, range that they, they do well as far as nutrient uptake based on soil pH. When uh, your soil pH gets too low, the soil begins to get more acidic, and, and again, that hampers nutrient uptake. Uh, in the case of, uh, of soil um, pH getting too low, it also begins to, to allow uh, certain um, elements that, that, all, that normally would not be available to the plant to become available that creates problems. So a good example, if your soil pH is, is excessively low, aluminum, which is not something that your soil really, uh, really needs, becomes available, and that can do things like stunt root growth. It, again, it prevents uh, which in, in turn hurts nutrient uptake. Uh, when your soil pH is too high, an element called uh, molybdenum becomes available, and that is just, is just downright toxic. So in addition to you not getting, um, you're not absorbing much from your fertilizers, um, the, the soil actually becomes toxic for your, for your grasses, and, and other micronutrients like iron just, just aren't absorbed as well. So as far as the, the, the sweet spot, for most grasses, uh, we're talking about Bermuda in, in general, Bermuda likes a, a soil pH somewhere between uh, 5.8 and 7.2. Anywhere within that range, you're gonna be okay. Um, you know, low to mid sixes is, is, pro is perhaps a sweet spot, but as long as you're you know, within that range between six and seven, you're, you're gonna be all right. So what happens if your pH is incredibly low? Like, what do you do to, to fix that? Because this is a question I've gotten from you guys, so I forgot to make a quick video on it. So the way to, to, to think about this is if your pH is low, the, the, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna add lime to the lawn. So low, add lime. That's what you're gonna use to, to raise uh, soil pH. And if your pH is excessively high, um, you're gonna use, you wanna apply some kind of a sulfur. The, the, the sulfur I'm gonna show here is an ammonium sulfate. That's going to help to lower uh, your soil pH. So again, I don't really have a, a, a thing to remember for uh, high pH. Just remember if it's not, um, if it's high, the other one that's not lime. As far as recommendations for a good lime product, I really like this one from Pennington. It's a, uh, it's a fast acting product. It, uh, once you apply it and you water the lawn heavily, it, it breaks down relatively quickly so it can be used uh, by the soil. So this is a, a great one. You can probably find this one at your Home Depot, your Lowe's, your big box stores. And if you can't find it there, I'll also have a link for this in the description uh, where you can pick this up on Amazon. Uh, the way this goes down is uh, this is a six pound bag. Uh, six pounds covers a thousand square feet so depending on the size of your lawn you'll know how much of this you, you need to get i didn't get a huge bag because i don't really need to adjust the ph of my lawn but i just wanted to have the product to be able to show you guys as far as uh, what i recommend you use as far as a lime for lowering ph uh, the product I'm going to recommend is an ammonium sulfate from Greenway. This has got 24% sulfur in it. And the one thing I've seen uh, that's, that's fairly common is that most of the um, sulfate products also contain nitrogen. So in the case of this one from Greenway, you've got 21% nitrogen as well. So, you know, kind of take that into account. You know, if you're due for a fertilization, perhaps um, use a fertilizer that's a little bit lower in nitrogen since you're gonna be applying this to the lawn to try and uh, lower that soil pH level so you don't, you don't overdo it. You wouldn't wanna put down like a, a ProScape, a 25-0, you know, four or whatever, something like that, and then also apply, uh, you know, 21% nitrogen on top of that. That would be a little bit excessive. So when you're lowering pH, um, just be conscious of, you know, what you're doing as far as fertilization and take that into account because uh, unlike the lime, there typically is a nitrogen component to ammonium sulfate uh, when you're trying to, to lower that soil pH. So guys, I hope you guys found this useful. It's a really quick chat about uh, soil pH, why it's important. It is something you really should pay attention to in your soil test results. It's really typically the first thing that's listed in your soil test results because it is really the most important thing to get right. Like uh, applying, you know, uh, nitrogen, potassium, phosphorus, you know, putting iron in the lawn, all those things to try and get the lawn to green up. And none of that really matters, or I should say none of it's going to work as well as it possibly could if your soil pH is not where it needs to be. So focus on getting that right. Again, you don't need to be a stickler about it. If you're within you know 5.8 to 7.2 for a warm season grass like Bermuda you're gonna be absolutely fine but if you're much um, below that uh, and then much higher than that so if you're in that in the eights for your um, 
for your alkaline levels or if you're like you know 5.5 or lower uh, for your acidic levels do something about that because you're, it's only going to help you to, to get more out of the products that you're spending a lot of money on these typically are not that expensive but fertilizers and micronutrients and all those kinds of things can can be quite costly so focus on getting that soil ph where it needs to be so you're going to get the most and best results uh, from the things you're putting down on your lawn guys thank you so much for watching i truly do appreciate it if there's anything i can uh, help with be sure to leave me a comment below if you're not a subscriber consider subscribing Again, I appreciate you guys taking a few minutes out of your day to share it with me to talk about uh, soil stuff. That's uh, it's always fun. I will see you guys next time. Have an amazing day.